Thank you for stuff, beautiful. Um, wow, I haven't done a video in ages. I'm really sorry about that. Just that, um, well, everything's just been piling on in the run-up to exam week, and it's been absolutely insane. So, um, yeah, exam week is now just a few weeks away. So homework is getting crazy, and I'm starting to study, and yeah. So basically, exam week is like there's a week of about nine exams in one week, and I also have to pass my um, my like international Latin exam, which will mean that I never have to do Latin again in my life. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I'm having to study quite a lot, but um, I went shopping today, so I'm gonna do sort of craft haul video. I didn't buy that much, but yeah. So firstly I bought some super glue, which I don't actually use for tack making. I use it for customizing. Um you know, super glue and baking soda, but I do super glue and flour because I don't have baking soda. It works exactly the same, in case you wanted to know. Um then I bought this really thin black permanent marker because um Oh, I've forgotten to use the fame. Horse Lover 101? Or no, it wasn't that. It was something else. Um, is going to trade with me for loads of my customs, so I'm just going to sign them all before I send them off. And um, oh, if I sound weird, I'm sorry, but I've got a cold, which is great. <laughs> uh, so I've also got some white paint. This is the stark white one. It's called Zinc White. Um, they also had ivory white, but I can always sort of warm it up a little bit if I decide I need a warmer white, so, yeah. Then I went brush shopping. I bought this brush, which was really cheap. It was like 30 cents, which I'm just going to use for mixing paints. But it's already starting to hair, so I'm not sure what a, how good a choice this was, but oh well. And then I bought three really good brushes. Um, these two are ridiculously thin. <coughs> Sorry. Like, really, really, you have no idea how thin this is. This is what I use for doing stable mate eyes and details and pretty much any scale eyes, actually. And then I've got this one, which is a little bit thicker, but still pretty thin. And, um, I use that for sort of slightly bigger eyes or for hair ring details or whatever. Okay, now this. Oh, I also got this. Better finish the craft haul first. <laughs> um, I got this box, which is just really adorable. Oops. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but it was just so cute. And it was only one euro, so I mean, whatever. You know, I'll find something to put in it. I love boxes. I have so many boxes on my desk right now. That is why it looks like this. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I bought some wooden skewer sticks. There's like a hundred of them in here, and it was um, 60 cents. So that was cheap. And because, you know, I use them for stable made jumps and various other things. And then these were one of the most expensive things I bought. These were. Um, I think four each, yeah, four each, but they are fairly big, so, I mean, pretty big. And um, this is this stuff, I'm not sure if it's real leather or not, but it looks a lot like suede, but it's really pliable. Like, you can fold it in half and it's really thin. So, I got this in grey and beige, which I use it to, I use it to make seat covers and knee rolls where you just need it really thin so that it can just bend around. And I also bought this pot for putting brushes in. I mean, I'm not going to actually use the lid, but I mean, this was 60 cents as well, so just get the lid off. It's just like that, and then I'm just going to, ah, it's perfect size, stand my brushes in it so that they don't fall over because I used to have them as sort of those, you know, those flat sort of throw away plastic cups that you get and but when you put them in they tend to sort of unbalance and then fall out which damages the tips so I got this to put them in yay I'm really pleased with that okay on to the actual updates oh let me know if you like these kind of craft haul things because 
I do enjoy doing them, and I mean, I do every now and then go out and buy a reasonable amount of stuff, so I could do these more often if you enjoy watching them. Because I know I enjoy watching them, but, you know, other people's not my own, because that would be a bit weird. <laughs> anyway, so this is for, oh yeah, JJ Brayer 123 This is your dress sash saddle as far as it got, oh my god. Um, I have to tell you something. I went to the craft store, like, today, along with all this other craft stuff, and it was closed. So it's going to be closed 25th, 26th, and 27th. And then, since it's Italy, nothing is open on Sunday. Great. Um, so, or Monday. So, um, Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll be getting some black ribbon. Hopefully, hopefully. I'm so sorry for the wait. But, um, so this is your saddle for now. I'm really happy with the shape, actually. And it has a wire tree inside, so you can fit it to your horse. Um, it's, it's shiny. Not sure if you can tell. Yeah, really shiny. And then, um... My camera obviously isn't going to focus on this, but it does have stitch marking all the way around here and on the skirt, I think it's called. And it has the two little pins. Um, it's the first time I've done stitch marking, and I'm actually really happy with how it came out. I'll be doing that again. Um, on the bottom it has two felt panels. I can, if you want, layer up some more felt here so that it actually sits sort of on the panels. Um, but it may also just make it bulky, so I'm not too sure. Um, wow, this is really not focused. <laughs> but um, on that little plate there, this is one of the cute customized details I was talking about. Um, it's ac it actually says JJB123, because I couldn't fit Brayer on it, so I, it says JJB123. I sort of engraved it into the metal, which I just think is really, really adorable. I mean... My camera is never going to focus on this, not even if I sort of refocus it, but it, when you get it, you'll see it, and it's really cute. So, yeah, that's your saddle for now. It needs shape training to stay like that, but I guess when it has a girth on it, we'll just be okay. Ah, long video again. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so this is Free Rain 823. This is all of your stuff. Yes, I did. I finally finished your order. Yay! Um, this is your bareback pad, which you'd already seen on Marabella. And it comes with the bridle. And um, for the bridle, or the bareback pad, I guess, um, I'm going to send you these two little extra pieces. These two little scrap pieces of ribbon. Um, because this ribbon does tend to... S Sorry, I got cut off, but oh my god, it's focusing kind of, you probably still can't read that, but you can see the engravings a bit. JJB12... Okay, it's just reflecting off the three, but um, you'll see that when you get it. And um, as I was saying before my camera ran out of space, um, yeah, this, this material is like faux suede lace, I think it's called. Um, but it does tend to snap quite easily if you, if you, like, literally, like, put your nail into it and then pull or something. You have to pull quite hard, but the buckles may cause it to break. I mean, I've never had problems with it, but just in case something goes wrong, I'm going to send you those two extra pieces. Then you have a free gift with a smiley face. Oh, that's come apart. I'll just close that again. Um, then you've got two lead ropes. The orange one is longer than the blue one because I just used up all the rest that I had. So, yeah. And um, then there's two rope holders. You said you didn't want them to fit any specific moulds, so I've made them on sort of standard horse-sized moulds. Um, the orange one is slightly bigger than the blue one because it's made... Th this one is made on the Cody mould, which is the... Um, well, the Cody mold. <laughs> it's the ASPCA horse, if that helps more. Um, he has quite a big face, so this will probably also... It might actually fit the Cleveland Bay. Um, yeah, it might. It's quite big, so it should fit quite a lot of horses. And then this one is on the silver mold, which I think, I'm right in saying, has about the same size as Idacus and strapless, about the same size head, because they have quite small heads for horses. So, 
that fits him. So yeah, if you have a lot of horses, could you just sort of try each size on all of them? And then let me know, because that way I can say, I can tell other people which horses it will fit. That would be really helpful, when you get them, obviously. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it really. This has been a long video again. I can update you on my customs. Um, oh yeah, this is actually, these are the horses I got from Free Rain 823. Well, this one at least is. Um, I've turned her into an Italian heavy draft. I still need to do her mane, obviously, and if I manage to get hold of white pastel, I will just go over this bit here. She's a, a red roan. She has really, really nice eyes, but it's not going to focus on them, probably. But yeah, I'm really happy with the shading on her face. It's really nice. And obviously her mane and forelock still needs doing, so it won't be as blodgy here. And she's going to get pinking on her nose just a little bit. And her hooves, her hooves still need doing. I've just got the base coat on them now to see whether the white markings are okay or whether I need to give them another layer and yep, and there's a dark one. So I am actually really happy with how she came out. I'm really happy with her white markings because they are really smooth. And um, another one I'm happy with is this guy or girl. Um, she's really, really cute. She has a really adorable face. I have done her eyes I think no nearly I have sort of done her eyes they still need pupils so she looks a bit demonish right now um, but I'm really happy with her face shading as well it's really really nice and it's sort of darker in the middle because I was using loads of reference photos for this girl and um, her marking Ooh, don't fall <laughs> she, she I, I actually tried to do dapples they kind of failed, kind of didn't. I'm not sure if I'm happy with the technique that I was using. Um, but, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, so you can see this side. <laughs> but you can't because it's not focusing. <laughs> um, so I'm quite happy with these white markings again. But you can't see it because it's too bright. They are really smooth and nice. And I like how you can still see the hair structure even though they are almost completely done. They're not quite finished, they still need a few more layers. And her hooves obviously need doing. And she will be getting a bit of pinking on her snip as well. And her mane and tail needs doing, so they're both pretty much in the same state. Ooh, don't hit her. So yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, let me know what you think about this kind of video whether I should do this kind of sort of blog thing a bit more often or whether you, I should just do videos about my tack and my customs. Um, so yeah, bye.